Hello and welcome to Shaman King, Master of Spirits. I'm finally doing another one. Obviously I'm going to do a new game and I'm going to select hard. But before I tell you that, I have to warn you. I haven't ever finished this game before. So, I'll just let, I'll let you guys know to the point where I have no idea what I'm doing. I played a good majority of it, but I haven't finished it. So before I start talking, I'm just gonna have a swig of my Pepsi here. Ah, oh, that's good stuff. This weather rocks. You really think it should be so laid back in the middle of the shaman tournament? Don't think it's gonna last. First thing tomorrow morning, it's back to the training. Heh <laughs> poor yo, hang in there, dude. You'll be doing some training on your own tray. Can't let yo I perform you. Sounds like everyone's in fighting spirits. Don't fall behind, Len. Who do you think I am? I never fall behind unless it's my strategic intention, which it's not. Either way, it's a foregone conclusion that I'm going to win and become Shaman King. Heads up, yo, we've got a visitor. Huh? Who are you? Is there an Anna Koryama among you? Maybe. Depends on what you want with her. Who are you? So you're Anna. I've come for something you have. The Tomb of the Shaman. I'm going to take it from you. You haven't yet honored us with your name. Of course, the all-important etiquette of the samurai. My name is Magister. You can see Amita Maru, so I guess you're a shaman. I don't recall the name Magister being on the official tournament entry list. Enough, I'll see him off. Everyone calm down, he doesn't seem to be one of Zeke's men. Let's hear what he has to say. I have nothing to say. I merely came for the Tomb of the Shaman. And a bit of Pepsi. What do you want with it? I intend to bring Methius back to life. Who? Don't ask me. Methius, the guardian of demons? He was the winner of the Grand Shaman Tournament a long time ago. 4,500 years, I believe. Winner of the Shaman Tournament? Then he must have been Shaman King. What does all this have to do with the Tomb of the Shaman? Don't you get it? He wants to summon this Mephius person, but since Mephius became Shaman King, he's incredibly powerful. Master here will need the Tomb of the Shaman in order to control him. I don't intend to summon his spirit or use a medium to perform spirit control or even control him as a doshi like you would. I shall return Matthews to his former glory. He will live as he once lived, his spirit and his blood flowing in his veins. A true reincarnation. A true reincarnation. So you'll control all the powers of a shaman king without having to become shaman king. You could take on Zeke. We've wasted enough time talking. Hand over the tomb of the shaman. Dream on. You leave me no choice. Using force isn't really my way, but... Stay away from Anna! Uh-oh. Music's getting crazy. You refuse to part with the tomb? Anna, you mustn't let him take it. Yo, here, the Sword of Light. Gotcha. That's your plan. Oh, there goes the sword. Ryu, don't! If you pull to our little... There goes the book. Curses! The pages have been scattered. I must find the page that explains the secret art at once. Hold it. He's quick to flee. Tomb of the Shaman's been scattered all over. We gotta collect the pages and quick. Leave it to us, Miss Anna. We shall collect the pages for you. I'll check out the Shinto Shrine with Takagero. Master Yo, use my spare wooden sword until you find the Sword of Light. A wooden sword is better in battle than an empty hand. No kidding. Thanks, Ryo. I'll go look around the cemetery. I'll speak with the Grand Shaman Council and see if they don't have more information on this character. He doesn't look like such a bad guy to me. All right then, and then Morty, you guys want to help me look around here? All right. Oh man, here we go. Now, this is the only path that you can take because these three other paths have something wrong with them. This one has a um, this one has a couple items blocking you, which you'll be able to push later. This has certain stuff guarding. Uh, uh, crap. You can't get through it. And this, it's filled with poison, by the, as you can see by the picture. So this is your map screen here. You can press start to save, check out your status, and other stuff. And, I'll click, and you can use it to shop here. You use money to shop at stuff. So let's go over here, and I'll explain the controls. So A button to jump. A, um, hold the A button to jump higher. Press the B button to swing your sword. Press the B button three times to do a triple swing combo. Holy crap. And you can also do that in the air. Now, L button you can't use yet. 
um, use select to switch your decks, which I will explain later. And uh, R button, a meet you. Uh, the L and R buttons are what you use to summon the spirits that you've uh, got assigned to it. So right now I only have the R button and a Mitamaru in it. So if you run out of Furyoku, which is that blue gauge to the left, you'll get a huh? And then you can't be able to use it. So that yellow gauge up there is my life, obviously. Here's your status screen. I've got absolutely nothing done. Here's the spirit unity spot. This is where you assign spirits to the R button. You'll be able to use the L button a little later, and you'll be able to do other stuff. So control pad to move, down to duck, and the, look at that, it's our first enemy, holy crap. So item screen, all right. These boxes here, you put your food and antidote in. You're gonna be needing a lot of them later, especially if you're a first timer with this game. Eat that and that. Enemies will try to touch you a lot in this game, and if they touch you, it hurts. So stay away from these perverts here. So this is sort of like a platformer slash RPG type thing. It's pretty cool. Not to mention it's based off one of the best... Well, the f one of the... Not, I can't say the best, but the first anime I've watched ever. My second would have to be like Pokemon or something. I don't know. My third would have to be Hamtaro, and fourth would be something else. I'm not sure, but I don't really care. Those were all olden days. Back when this show aired on four kids. Well, it used to be called Foxbox back then, but then they abandoned that name and called it Four Kids. And now I think they changed the name again. What is up with that? Was it like Toon Zai or something? The... It sounds a little racist, but okay. I wonder if I can look this up on the internet. Oh my god. I feel like watching this show again. You don't know how long it's been. And you get more money. They basically throw money at you at the beginning of the game. So you can just collect as much of this crap as you can and make sure you save up. Because life is great when you have money. My god. I mean, you just have to admit, life is great with money. And how dare you walk off to the... Ah, oh, I saw him coming, and then I didn't jump. All right, now. Die. So that's the end of this level. Let's check what's down here first before we move on. Here is a humongous totem pole. You can't go across it. You can't go through it. You can't go around it because it's a 2D platforming game. Moving on into the dirty, stinky sewers of New York. I mean, uh, other cities. Some, some other city that has nothing to do with the Big Apple. And we got our first spirit. Well, second spirit, accounting counting Aminamaru. So, Gusi Kenji. This lets you use a flurry of punches. But it's one of the weakest things in the game, so I'm just going to use Aminamaru, of course. There's a piranha in the water. I don't know if you can see it, but... I mean, I can definitely see it, but I don't know if you guys can see it through the video, because they're really small. Eh, I don't know. You probably could. Anyway, just duck down and press the B button to hit them. They should go down with one hit. If they don't, then there's something wrong with your game, and you should take it back. Whatever you do. Ah, here we go. Magatama bead. 
They're sort of like heart pieces in this game, Magatama beads. Um, collect four of them and your life goes up. I don't really feel like dealing with you, Pally. Jeez. Rocky Balboa looking dude. Anyway, well, he doesn't look like Rocky Balboa. I'm, I'm being stupid. Okay. And let's see here. We got sushi. That will be in our item screen. They recover 20 health points, which is like a 16th of your health bar. So we got more enemies to deal with that will try and touch you. Keep in mind, they try and touch you. And yeah, money. Oh, don't you dare touch me. Don't, don't you dare touch me. Freaking perverts, man. Uh, don't you dare touch me. Freaking perverts, man. Good lord. So you're gonna hear a lot of that during this game, don't you dare touch me. And there's another Magatama bead there, but it's guarded by fire in which we can't get past. I don't know why it's still burning here. you think it'd go out after a while, but I guess not. Anyway, swing your wooden sword against it and nothing happens. Weird. Your wooden sword must be some type of fireproof piece of crap. But don't worry, we'll get better stuff. Much better stuff. Whoa! He touched me, and he's dead. Yeah, freaking perverts. Oh, here's Mega Pervert. Here, look at him. He looks like, he looks like you're after... I don't know. He just looks like the public flasher, okay? Oh yeah, I didn't even tell... So we got a new spirit from him. Its name is Chimimorio, if I'm pronouncing that right. So while I'm waiting for that platform... So more fire here. So what Chimimorio does... You just... You throw a ghost at them to slow your enemy down. They do one damage, but... Of course, they just slow it down. They use up pebbles. Pebbles are the little sphere rock things that you see me pick up from enemies, probably, in this game. If you haven't, then you should go back and watch closely. I mean, you just get them from enemies, and they're... I pick them up really fast, so it's probably hard to catch. Anyway, Magnascope. Alright. I pressed the wrong button. Magnoscope, you just use it to look around. It's not anything to get excited about. Oh, jeez. This guy is way easier than I remember him being. I remember dying from this guy every freaking time. Because I just didn't know how to get close to him. Probably because of those ghost things. Oh my god, he touched me. Well, sort of like I touched him, but it was an accident. It's what, it's what you call sexual her accident. Okay? Headphones, alright. These. Um, headphones um, open up this thing. You can assign a spirit to it, but not any spirit that you use to fight. Um, you can uh, assign spirits that like uh, increase your status or something like that. Like, let's say I get a spirit that makes me more resistant to fire. I'll just assign that to this and boom. And that's basically it, so. Just think of it as badges in a Mario, in a Paper Mario game. Something like that. Uh, uh, don't you dare touch me, pervert. Don't, don't, perverts, perverts. You're trying to touch me. Then again, Yo shouldn't be wearing his shirt like that. It's all open and crap. And he's wearing sandals. He, he's got a terrible getup he's got going here. Terrible getup. It, it, it could attract any pervert out there. Showing off his chest and his belly. Look at him. So I think some of this is a little bit of Yo's fault. So there's Samurai over there. Don't worry, you won't die here. 
You'll just collect money instead. Yeah. Why die when you can have money? Well, these guys, their swords have a really long reach. And they do a massive amount of damage. So I'm just going to eat some sushi here. See what we got here? Yes. More money and sushi. Oh, jeez. What do we got here? Hey, Ryo, what's up? Found any pages? Ryo looks kind of weird. Be careful. I feel leave of spirits around here. Finally, I found it. My sacred hang. This shrine? Quiet, you. What are you doing flinging that around? It's all fun and games until someone loses an eye. Get out. I'll never give up my sacred hang. Not to anyone. Well, I don't want it. Jeez. Ryu, snap out of it. Ouch, he hit me. That's it, I'm gonna hit him back. But next time, that is. Yeah, cliffhanger. Sorry about that. See you guys later.